You know, the other day I realized, been doing a lot of videos on planting and starting seeds, but hadn't really showed you what's been growing in the garden all went along. This would be a good time to catch up and do a little field trip. Here's the beets. Now I've already harvested, oh, I'd say about three quarters of them and canned them. So I've got bukus for the rest of this year. Cause I'm not, I like beets, but uh, once, maybe twice a month is plenty. Anyway, let's pull one and I'll show you what to do with them once you got them up. <clears throat> Leave the root on. You can go ahead and cut the tops off. I don't know of any use for the tops. Maybe if I was real hungry, I'd be saving them. But notice, I left about inch and a half, two inches of the top on the beet. And that's to keep it from bleeding. Pretty nice. Our mustard green is beautiful. I'll be canning some of those real soon. We have some broccoli growing over here and mixed in the broccoli, we have some lettuce that came up. I think I planted the broccoli decided to come back in with lettuce and uh, some of the broccoli came up along with the lettuce. That's okay, they'll do just fine. One thing that didn't fare very well this winter was the cabbage. You can see this one's in bad shape. But right next to it, we have some that might just make it. It's strange. Here's one that I planted afterwards, strong and healthy. Here is where I'm gonna plant my corn and snap beans. I tilled it the other day. It's looking good. I applied fertilizer to it this past fall and tilled it in and pretty much kept the winter grass out of it. In about a week or so, I'm gonna apply my spring fertilizer. For those of you who live in zone eight, that's planting zone eight, uh, don't give up on that winter garden. You can grow all sorts of stuff. I usually would plant a fall garden and an early spring garden for the cold weather crops. Uh, this year, I decided to go ahead and plant all through the winter. It was amazing. I got all the vegetables I wanted. I didn't think a lot of this stuff would survive hard freezes and really cold weather. Now, they do grow a lot slower. And I also noticed they don't grow quite as tall. They do produce... Maybe not as well as in the prime planting season, but they will keep you supplied in all the vegetables you can eat. 